Hello guys. We are going to the farm. I slept in for t today, like uh, two hours more than usual, and uh, that's because I had a, a lot of early mornings this week, so I compensated for that. And uh, yeah, I had to get some parts too, and uh, some. Um, belt for PTO shaft on the uh, tractor that we are trying to sell or we are selling the horse is uh, walking around back in the back but uh, yeah I, 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 I what 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 do I wanted to say uh, I am uh, posting two times a week from now on like this uh, the last video was uh, second this week. Yeah, I'm posting on uh, Mondays and uh, Thursdays, probably, preferably. Yeah, if you know what I mean. I don't know what I mean either. But uh, yeah, that's the goal to post two videos a week. And uh, third, if I have to post, have something to post. But uh, I think uh, two videos will be perfect for like uh, consistency and uh, for having good videos to view because uh, if I can post it like every day there will be nothing to show you uh, but uh, maybe that's Sam Select style and uh, he's banging right now because uh, he posts every day and uh, just his little pep talk in car gym pep talk in car but yeah, that's cool. The witching. The witching. Yeah. Okay, too much. That's okay. And then. Uh, yeah. We are going to the work with Travers. We don't live with the f in a farm. Uh, we live a little bit farther away in the city. I have 30 minutes drive to the farm each day. But I don't mind that. No, 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 not really. Uh, for now, probably when <coughs> the time comes, I will live next to the farm. But not now. I'm too young. I have to party, you know. And also I have to train. I have trainings in. Uh, I have training uh, gym in uh, Yalgava, in city, where I train MMA. Oh yeah, fight me. Some YouTubers maybe want to fight me. Let's fucking do this. Uh, mm, best, uh, best coffee from a gas stations in Latvia. Yes. But yeah, what else? I don't know. I just want to talk with you guys. I want to tell you something. Uh, thanks to people who comment always under my videos love you love you guys uh, love to see some uh, some 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 uh, love to see something happening uh, with my youtube channel 272 by now uh, subscribers obviously not everybody is uh, looking at my videos but uh, we are getting uh, more and more views and uh, yeah, I think uh, if I'm gonna do this consistently two times a week, everything will be perfect. But uh, I'm not concentrating on uh, views and, uh, and uh, subscribers that much than the quality of my videos because I want to make th those that better, that a aspect of my YouTube career better. Uh. Oh. Yeah. I'm trying, let's go about quality and then concentrate on uh, views and uh, subscribers. Obviously, I'm always happy for new subscribers and uh, views going to skyrocketing. But uh, yeah, I have a few video, video ideas, but I'm waiting for products. Uh, it's gonna, those videos gonna be in farm. No, when winter has arrived, 
uh, we're definitely gonna go more into the farm uh, as tomorrow I'm gonna do milking and uh, probably show you that process uh, I hope all the products uh, produ products are arriving today we are uh, grouping uh, cows because uh, I ordered ordered some product that also needs to be given to goes in a, in a groups some of them need to give, get some cows needs to get that product uh, some don't and uh, but uh, yeah before we we had like a milk crisis uh, the milk cost was uh, 30 cents per little liter 30 cents per liter so you understand how low it is and uh, we had to like uh, work on uh, alarm mode or on uh, red zone we were in a red zone where we drew, like uh, we had to like lower our milk produce from cows in order to sustain our farm because we couldn't order afford all the products we used before so no we are getting back uh, price is slowly going up but it's going up and uh, soon uh, thinking like a uh, few months we will be on a normal road already it's like getting better and better and uh, we feel more relieved with the price so at one point it was like when there there was again 30 centers but when there was a uh, 30 cents per liter uh, we were like uh, like uh, thinking about uh, getting rid of cows and uh, going on with the agriculture with the grains and uh, all seed wraps but uh, we got through it again this this isn't the first time with the uh, milk crisis and uh, I think after each crisis it gets better and better obviously goal is to make bigger farm and uh, build farm but uh, not for now like two years maybe from now we can uh, start considering it because we have other things to pay for and uh, uh, other uh, other uh, other contracts with bank and uh, we have pay, to pay a lot of money like if you're a farmer, you have so much uh, uh, relation, so a big relationship with bank. Oh, but yeah, we are, we are, we are enjoying this. Uh, we are trying to work harder, and uh, we're gonna work harder, and. Uh, I'm really invested in a farm life now and uh, we're gonna start from cows slowly uh, slowly cut we're gonna know the first videos will be about the valves in the farm I have experiment 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 coming in but it's gonna be you know, like next week hopefully we are getting waiting for that product and uh, we'll see what's going to happen, what's going to change because if you want a beautiful, good looking, uh, good milking, uh, good producing cow you need to start with good calves and calves are the most important thing so yeah we are going to start with calves but uh, not today, today we are just chilling uh, enjoying life, uh, grouping cows I'll not show you how we group cows because it's frustrating. It's really frustrating to group them, uh, especially if you have chained cows and uh, when you want to move them, uh, they're really stubborn. Stubborn. Uh, we don't use electro electrical shocks in our farm. We don't have those. Uh, I don't feel like we need those. Uh, all the other farms, I think. Them. I don't know, but uh, we don't use them. Uh, 
but yeah it's hard to pull them and uh, it's really frustrating so no, no I'm not filming that but uh, yeah we're gonna group house and uh, later on uh, I'll start filming today I don't know if I have something to film you know not every day you have something to film in a farm and I don't want to be repetitive repetitive I just want uh, new content to come out uh, so there is uh, guys who don't have farm or guys who have farm who do runs things differently to see everything, every aspect of it and uh, yeah basically we are Latvia there is only a other one other youtuber who vlogs English in English in Latvia find any other one so yeah on Sunday we are selling one tractor we just got to got to fix some things I thought that it's gonna be my project and uh, I would film some YouTube video how we are reselling how I am reselling tractors uh, and uh, but but uh, there was problem issues with documents paperwork on tractor and uh, I don't know, it, uh, the tractor was sitting for 5-6 years in our barn and uh, we didn't use it but uh, when I was a child everything with paperwork was fine and now they decided that no, it doesn't uh, doesn't gonna go like this and they said that it's, uh, the tractor is stolen it, and it, it isn't ours then uh, after a brief talk uh, they said no, we can't do it because uh, uh, the cab is different and uh, it's like smaller mod model cab and uh, we need to make uh, go to the inspection and inspect new cab on it and that's already been there for uh, that cab as long as I remember because that's one of the oldest tractors in our farm but we don't really use it and. Uh, so yeah, we are selling it without papers, and uh, and there is no no point to sell, uh, film it as a resell video because without papers you can sell that tractor for as high as you can, but if you have papers, uh, the price really goes higher. Probably you can uh, get normal inspection done, and uh, somebody would do let it through, but. Uh, that guy was like pain in the ass and uh, yeah it's a fucking old tractor nobody gives a fuck about those tractors and uh, he has to give a fuck and uh, yeah we have one tractor without papers so yeah he, that tractor is going this Sunday uh, probably this video will come out Monday but the uh, yeah, tractor is going away this Sunday and uh, yeah. Okay, that's basically all the pep talk. Probably nothing much gonna come out from this uh, pep talk because uh, I said uh, a bunch of gibberish stuff, you know, and uh, I'm gonna cut it uh, so it's listenable. You know, Trevor's, Trevor's is sleeping again. Uh, yeah, and the last few days, last two days I was uh, working on a farm and then going to my dad because he has real Christmas spirit and uh, he hangs uh, all his house uh, with the lights and uh, he goes in the mood he got in the mood this year and uh, yeah his house is like all with the lights and uh, I'm helping him uh, lifting him with the telescopic handler so yeah Basically that's all for now, uh, see you at the farm, BAM! What are we gonna do today? I'm gonna show you our barn and uh, we have some uh, small things to do but uh, basically I'm gonna give a tour of the barn, show how we run things here. Um, I already want to tell you that it's not the best barn. Uh, and uh, it's not the best uh, way to do things but uh, if I'm showing things I'm showing things I'm, and I'm gonna show everything you know so yeah now we are sitting in uh, 
place where we write some documents sometimes and uh, drink coffee and uh, chill and I'm chilling uh, but now we're gonna clean a uh, cattle farm and yeah I'm gonna clean cattle farm and then show you around so let's get ready to rumble so this is the place where we store milk uh, two milk tanks one smaller one bigger and uh, all the milking devices uh, we use two milking uh, tanks because in an uh, emergency when something happens to one we at least have one left because there is there have been times then that uh, one broke and uh, other is working perfectly fine so we lose don't lose that mu as much milk as we could lose if we have all milk in one tank and uh, it gets broken or something gets uh, something happens with that so now we are walking into the co co barn uh, okay. So you've seen this place, uh, this is uh, where we keep our milking cows, uh, we have 60 places for them, yeah, so yeah we have uh, around 60 milking cows at that time, now it's 57, 3 are coming to be milking, we are waiting for them to give birth, uh, but uh, yeah, so 57 usually around this uh, number of milking cows in our farm uh, yeah we have char chained uh, operation going on uh, but uh, it is what we, it is uh, we build this uh, farm in like uh, steps when I was a uh, smaller like 10 or 15 years ago we only had 30 milking cows it's around to here and uh, this other uh, other part was a barn uh, for storage for straw and uh, hay, but uh, now it's uh, completely full with cows. We are slowly building, and even before that, it was completely different. Uh, so yeah, slowly we are increasing our capacity, but uh, I guess next step. Uh, if we are building something, it's new, new farm, and uh, get rid of this one. So we have free walking operation with robot or parlor. But uh, yeah, for now it is like this, and uh, yeah, this is where we keep our uh, dairy milking cows. Uh, yeah, and. Uh, and now we are taking you to 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 the cattle farm. Uh, not cattle. I, I guess it's cattle. So we see now. These are smaller cows. These are I don't know months. My mom does that uh, thing. She arranges everything here. Here are bigger cows. A uh, little bit bigger than those. Some of them are pregnant and, uh, and uh, waiting for giving birth. And yeah, I need to get a feed for them. But this I'm gonna do after. I also have to clean them. Uh, these are smaller than those. And uh, soon there will be a few more in this, uh, this spot. Yeah. I like that they are not uh, chained and uh, yeah these are also waiting to giving give birth but uh, these are a few months later uh, two months three months I don't know I don't know the exact exact dates but yeah and uh, this summer we are redoing this uh, part of the farm we will have uh, 
uh, four, no, one, two, one, two, three, four, five space, walking, free walking space, and we're gonna clean with tractor and uh, feed from that wall. So we're gonna rebuild this part. So we have all the cattle are free walking and only when they're gonna be in, in trains when they are milking when we're gonna milk but uh, yeah so so in that uh, like if you're gonna have free walking for them like four positions for up walking translation here uh, and then we have more space uh, they will feel better happier cows uh, yeah and uh, I also don't like that we have uh, this uh, type of uh, cleaning with uh, chain, uh, chains and uh, plates, I don't know what it is called because they put push all the straw inside there so you can uh, put straw underneath but they push it uh, all the way down What you eating little boy? Good head. Good rat oh. Trunk of tree. Trunk of tree. Yeah, that's a. Uh, and we have small ones. And I have to get deliver. I just cleaned them, so I need straw for for them. So yeah. Uh, we have small ones. These are small ones. There is no straw because I just cleaned them. And um, yeah, I'm gonna do that next but uh, yeah these are small ones I think these ones are moving soon to that spot where I, there is only four so yeah we have four places four groups here three groups and uh, then we have bonzies for seven of them eight if we count on that to this part uh, yeah uh yeah these are small cattles small cattles uh yeah nothing much here uh that's our farm everything is in one place uh a lot of hand labor work with uh rakes and uh forks uh, but uh it is what it is for, for now uh I hope next week we are we having video about how we're gonna feed these cows. We are trying new stuff out, new teeth, uh, milk bar teeth. Uh, I ordered them and I have to get few buckets. I found used ones online, so it's gonna be a little bit cheaper. So yeah, that's for next week and this one, this this small barn. But yeah, I need to put straw underneath them. I'm gonna do that and uh, then I'm gonna start cleaning a uh, cat big cattle farm. Yeah, a lot of... We need fork. We need fork. Uh, yeah, a lot of work with a hand. And I think that's the... Like, if we had a free walking space, it would be a little bit easier also for us, not only for cows. Because we can uh, clean farm with tractor and less handwork, you know. So yeah. Okay, I have to pick this this straw and get delivered it there. We usually have one bale sitting here, but uh, uh, we had one cow running around the farm without train, and when they run around the farm, they usually like uh, take straw everywhere uh, there is uh, usually one ro bale but after they they are running it's it looks like this yeah uh, yeah we have another bale on the other side but uh, I used it all this morning when I was uh, uh, putting straw under the milking cows okay I'm gonna do that and get right back to you as soon as possible.
the next one, now you've seen my barn, farm, uh, cows, everything. Uh, so yeah, see you in the next one. Like, share, subscribe, push notification button. Go with shooting. Yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.